five city skylines. The skyline is the fingerprint of a city. All urban life begins each day and ends each night under the watch of the city's tallest skyscrapers and most grand architectural structures. We bring you the top five city skylines. Number five. Singapore is one of the best planned and cleanest metropolitan cities in the world. Singapore looks like an architectural city model come to life. The buildings cannot be higher than 280 meters due to air traffic control restrictions, but that has added a consistent building height and space pattern that makes the skyline unique. Three buildings are exactly 280 meters tall and six others stand at just over 200 meters. The buildings are mostly light colored and there is a large expanse of greenery dotted around the city core. This southeastern city is definitely in a league of its own and it makes it to our number 5. Number 4 not to be mistaken for a space station, Shanghai is a real city and a number four. China's biggest and most advanced city, Shanghai, is becoming a showcase of modern architecture and is quickly amassing a collection of sky-reaching buildings decked along the edges of the semicircular shoreline in Pudong District. In Shanghai, you'll find 28 structures that are over 200 meters tall and two over 400 meters, including the Oriental Pearl TV Tower, that is insanely tall at 468 meters. Number 3 New York City, coming in at number 3, has one of the densest and most diverse skylines with a huge collection of buildings and building styles. Thanks to artists and Hollywood's obsession with the city, it is also the most easily recognizable skyline in the world. New York City has an amazing collection of 48 buildings that stand over 200 meters, the most in the world. New York probably has the greatest heritage in terms of skyscrapers, building the world's first commercial super tall. The four tallest buildings in NYC were all built in the early 1930s. New York's skyline probably has the most compact and overwhelming collection of architecture from almost any point in the city. The skyscrapers pattern to create a skyline effect against a horizon, but it is probably a better view from the inside looking out and about rather than looking at it from afar. Number 2 American City, Chicago and number two is the birthplace of the modern skyscraper. When Chicago built its first steel high rise in 1885, it was not the tallest structure in the world but the first example of a new form of engineering that would change nearly every city on earth. Chicago has 20 buildings over 200 meters tall, three of which are among the top 20 tallest buildings in the world, including the tallest in North America. Chicago has some of the finest mid-century architecture architecture and examples of modern skyscrapers. The skyline has many distinctive views, changing its pattern ever so subtly at each angle you choose to look at it from. Like Hong Kong and New York, Chicago skyscrapers really do create a line stacked up along the shoreline creating a true skyline effect. Number 1 and number one, the city of Hong Kong has the greatest skyline in the world. Hong Kong has a whopping 43 buildings over 200 meters tall, 30 of which were built in the year 2000 or later. There are also a number of residential condominiums with 60 stories. It also boasts four of the 17 tallest buildings in the world. That's 20% of the top 20 all in one city. At night, the skyline glimmers with lighting and reflections. The city exemplifies the postmodern skyscraper and skyline. Finally, the mountainous backdrop makes this skyline the greatest on the planet.